In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Abba Father, in the name of Jesus, in the unity, power, and love of the Holy Spirit, under the mantle of Mary, our Mother and Queen, with all the holy angels and saints, through the intercession of the servant of God, Luisa Picaretta, in our childlike simplicity, we pray to the Holy Spirit. Spirit, sanctifier, hurry, I implore you. I pray you, again, make your will known to all, so that by knowing it, they may love it and may welcome your first act of their complete sanctification that is your holy will. Please take our humble prayer and make it your command that all be accomplished and completed in your most holy divine will. We believe, we receive, Fiat. Amen. So be it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The titles of Luisa Picaretta, Little Daughter of the Divine Will, Servant of God. Day 7. Continuation of Volume 11 Adorable Will, I want to pray these titles, but I am unable to do it. Come and do it with me, and I'll do everything well. Jesus and Mary, I esteem you and I honor you, one with... Louisa, the soul who takes part in Jesus' wound, who is like Jesus on earth and will be like him in heaven, sharing in the same glory of his humanity. Louisa, victim. Louisa, whom Jesus holds tightly in his arms. Louisa, the soul whose thoughts are reflected in Jesus' mind in heaven. Louisa, if she desires, speaks, loves, all is reflected in Jesus, and all Jesus does is reflected in her. Louisa, the soul whom the divine will crystallizes. Louisa, to whom Jesus sends all his light, so as to form another son in her. Louisa, the soul within whom Jesus established his residence. Louisa, who takes all the substance of Jesus' being and encloses everything within herself and makes good come out from Jesus for the benefit of all creatures. Louisa, the one who really loves Jesus and whose heartbeat is one with Jesus's heartbeat. Louisa, whose heartbeat in Jesus forms a sweet harmony that repeats Jesus's life speaks to him of souls, forcing him to save them. Louisa, the soul who becomes one voice together with Jesus. Louisa, who, if she walks, her steps speak, pursuing the sinner. Louisa, whose thoughts are voices to the minds. Louisa, 
from whom Jesus finds his reward, beginning with the work of creation. Louisa, who in taking ownership and acting in a divine manner, Jesus' love finds its outpouring and loves her and those who enter his will more than all other creatures. Louisa, who prays as Jesus prays. Louisa, who pours herself entirely into Jesus' will and finds God and all creatures in it. Louisa, who gives creatures to God as if they were one single creature. Louisa, who places at the feet of the divinity all good acts in order to give honor to the divine volition. Louisa, who places at the feet of the divinity all the bad acts in order to repair for them through the sanctity, power, and immensity of the divine will, wherefrom nothing can escape. Louisa, one who loves Jesus, who is united with him, and for whom everything is possible. Louisa, who prays and brings before the Divine Majesty the thoughts of all within her thoughts. Louisa, who prays and brings before the Divine Majesty the glances of all in her eyes. Louisa, who prays and brings before the Divine Majesty in her words, movements, affections, and desires, those of her brothers, in order to repair them and plead light, grace, and love for them. Louisa, who finds herself in Jesus and in all, who lives Jesus' life and prays with him, making the Divine Father happy. Louisa, in whose soul is formed a flowery field. Louisa, in whom Jesus' love makes fruits be born. Louisa, who, with trust in Jesus, shall give flavor to the fruits. Louisa, who with loyalty shall let the fruits mature. Louisa, who with courage, tolerance, and tranquility, the fruits shall grow and become rich. Louisa, from whom Jesus, the celestial farmer, shall pick these fruits and make of them his food. Louisa, in whom more heroic fruits shall grow, such as to pull unheard of graces from Jesus' heart. Louisa, on whom Jesus poured his bitternesses to spare some points to make her content. Louisa, who places herself between Jesus and creatures to give him complete reparations, love for all, and to snatch from him graces for all. Louisa, 
for whom Jesus waits to find in her the satisfactions and reparations for all. Louisa, who was in contact with every thought of creature, the life of which came from God. Louisa, who in Jesus' will multiplied herself in each thought, and with the sanctity of Jesus' will repaired everything, had a thank you for all and a love for all, multiplying herself in the gazes, words, and everything else. Jesus and Mary, I honor you and I cherish you, one with Louisa, the Queen Mama's daughter. Louisa, who surrounded her head with the thorns of Jesus. Louisa, who beaded her eyes with Jesus' tears. Louisa, who impregnated her tongue with Jesus' bitterness. Louisa, who clothed her soul with Jesus' blood. Louisa, who adorned herself with Jesus' wounds. Louisa, who pierced her hands and feet with Jesus' nails, and like another Christ, presented herself before Jesus' divine majesty. Louisa, the soul clothed with Jesus' divine insignia, to whom he is unable to deny anything. Louisa, whose death pain of the privation of Jesus, united to Jesus' pains, runs for the good of all, especially for those about to fall into the abyss. Louisa, one in whom Jesus feels repaid for creation, redemption, and sanctification. Louisa, one who glorifies Jesus in the way the creature must glorify him. Louisa, the soul who is gem of Jesus' throne and takes within herself all the contentments and glory that each blessed shall have for himself alone. Louisa, the soul who shall shine in Jesus' own sun. Louisa, the soul who shall be as though circumfused in Jesus' son, who shall see the blessed from within Jesus, and who shall have a place distinct from all others in heaven. Louisa, the soul who continues in heaven, the life she lived on earth, completely transformed in Jesus and immersed in the sea of his contentments. Louisa, the soul who lives divine life on earth and who repeats in Jesus' will what his humanity did in it. Louisa, who becomes simple, and together with Jesus, she multiplies in all and does good to all. Louisa, daughter, who in receiving Jesus in communion, united to his humanity, divinity, 
and his will, renewed in Jesus all the contentment he received when he communicated himself. Louisa, who, united to Jesus, contained all creatures, and in kissing and embracing Jesus, he felt he was given the kiss of all, the embraces of all. Louisa, in whom Jesus makes up for the love of all creatures. Louisa, the soul for whom Jesus feels as though chained, captured, and concedes to her the prodigies of the greatest conversions. Louisa, the soul whom Jesus places with him as second century of each heart. Louisa, the soul who is second century, who consoles Jesus, repays Jesus, and keeps him company in the loneliness wherein many hearts force him, and forces Jesus not to leave them. Louisa, the soul who is the portent of portents. Louisa, the one who loves Jesus, in whose heart he places a divine vein that administers to her divine science, divine sanctity, and virtue that waters the powers of her soul and diffuses for the good of the other creatures. Louisa, Jesus is goad. His love is cornered by her violences. Louisa, the soul all intent on repairing Jesus, loving him, apologizing to him, and asking forgiveness for sinners. Louisa, whose soul Jesus keeps embellishing with his love, with his reparations and forgiveness. Louisa, the soul who is inside the engine of Jesus, who can dispose of the waves that gush out for the good of others. Louisa, the soul who is now light that illuminates. Louisa, the soul who is now fire that ignites. Louisa, the soul who is now water that purifies. Louisa, in whom Jesus reflects himself. Louisa, the soul who in doing everything in the divine volition forces Jesus to do whatever she does together with her. Louisa, loving soul, whom Jesus keeps at his side like a queen. Louisa, whose dominion is so great in her pains that she acquires noble, dignified, ingratiating, heroic, disinterested manners, similar to Jesus's manners. And creatures compete to let themselves be dominated by her. Louisa, the soul in whom Jesus feels absorbed and who keeps acquiring his manners and likeness. Louisa, in whom Jesus keeps gazing at himself continuously and finds himself. 
Volume 12. Jesus and Mary, I cherish you and I love you. One with Louisa, Jesus' daughter, poor daughter. Louisa, who is within Jesus and in whom Jesus pours himself up to the brim of her soul, speaking to her about his most intimate things. Louisa, the soul who continues her life in Jesus. Louisa, the soul who shall continue the reparations she did on earth. Louisa, the soul who together with Jesus shall be the sentry of honor before the divine throne. Louisa, the soul who, in heaven, shall do the opposite acts of the creatures who offend Jesus on earth. Louisa, the soul who shall guard Jesus' throne. Louisa, who shall have the place of honor. Louisa, the soul who shall comprehend Jesus the most, the most glorious. Louisa, the soul whose glory shall be completely fused in Jesus's, and his glory shall be fused in hers. Louisa, of whose heart Jesus becomes the vigilant sentry. Louisa, whom Jesus guards as his own humanity. Louisa, to whom Jesus commands the angels to surround like a crown, that she may be sheltered from everything and everyone. Louisa, who suffers divine pain of Jesus' privations, and places it as weld and seal, lets it go around the world to make it catch souls, and brings them all back to Jesus. Louisa, Jesus' beloved daughter, beloved daughter of Jesus. Louisa, who infusing herself in Jesus and his will, a son is formed in her that rising up in the air melts into beneficial dew upon all creatures. Louisa, whom Jesus wants together with him and wants her company in his deaths. Louisa, the soul who loves Jesus, whose breath is sweet, who amuses Jesus, and he feels cheered. Louisa, with whom an echo of harmonies is formed between her and Jesus. Louisa, who remains distinct from the other creatures, and who shall be distinct also in heaven. Louisa, daughter with whom Jesus wanted to pour himself out. Louisa, who infusing herself in Jesus, gives the influence of divine life to all creatures. Louisa, one who is with Jesus in the tabernacle, who shares in his pains, in the coldness, in the irreverences, in everything that the souls do when in his sacramental presence. Louisa, one who must excel in everything and for whom the place of honor is always reserved. Louisa, 
whom Jesus gives the first place inside his sacramental heart. Louisa, whose poor humanity Jesus makes his own, so he may raise it before the majesty of the Father as his continuous victim. Louisa, whom Jesus feels everywhere. Louisa, whose thoughts flow with Jesus' thoughts. Louisa, who diffuses herself together with Jesus in the minds of creatures. Louisa, whom Jesus feels in his heartbeat. Louisa, who pours herself together with Jesus into the creatures and loves with Jesus. Louisa, who loves Jesus for everyone to repay him in love and consoles him. Louisa, the soul whose desires Jesus feels in his desires. Louisa, the soul whose works Jesus feels in his works. Louisa, the soul who lives at Jesus' expense. Louisa, who in the divine will is able to run for the good of all creatures. Louisa, who in the divine will is able to rescue creatures from within the blood they swim to bring them back to Jesus. Louisa, the soul whom all of Jesus' attributes invest. Jesus and Mary, I love you and glory to my Creator, one with Louisa, the soul whose origin is in heaven. Louisa, the soul whose nobility is divine. Louisa, the soul whose sanctity is in God, and there she is kept by God himself. Louisa, the soul whom Jesus, jealous of her sanctity, keeps in his inmost heart and lets nobody touch her. Louisa, inseparable from the divine will. Louisa, who does all that the Father does. Louisa, who makes the thought of the Father her own. Louisa, who looks at what the Father is looking. Louisa, who repeats the words of the Father. Louisa, who works with the hands of the Father. Louisa, who walks with the feet of the Father. Louisa, who suffers the same pains of the Father. Louisa, who loves with the love of the Father. Louisa, who lives inside her Father. Louisa, the reflection and the perfect portrait of her Father. Louisa, whom it is impossible to find without the Father, or the Father without her. Louisa, whose interior 
is interwoven with the interior of the Father, transformed, dissolved completely, completely in God. Louisa, child who takes rapid and sublime flights in the divine will. Louisa, the soul who wanders in the immensity of the divine will, flies to all, helps all, loves all as Jesus himself helps and loves. Louisa, one whose works acquire nobility, splendor, divine sanctity, divine power, and beauty. Louisa, one whose works multiply to infinity, and in one instant she does everything. Louisa, the most peaceful one. Louisa, not subject to anxiety. Louisa, who loves no one and loves everyone, but divinely. Louisa, the repeater of the life of Jesus. Louisa, the organ of Jesus' voice. Louisa, the sea of Jesus' graces. Louisa, the soul who is firm, not subject to inconstancies or voluntary defects. Louisa, who is attentive to her duties. Louisa, the most sacrificed and detached from everyone and everything, even from spiritual directions. Louisa, whose roots are deep, and she rises up so high that the flowers and fruits bloom in heaven. Louisa, so hidden in God that the earth sees little or nothing of this soul. Louisa, whom the divine will keeps absorbed within itself. Louisa, enviable creature, of whom Jesus is the author, the life, the form of the sanctity. Louisa, who has nothing of her own, but everything is in common with Jesus. Louisa, whose passion is the divine will. Louisa, whose characteristic is the will of her Jesus. Jesus and Mary, I glorify you and I praise you, one with Louisa, whose continuous motto is Fiat. Louisa, the soul who is the smile of Jesus. Louisa, the soul far away from everyone. Louisa, the soul who is the order and harmony of everyone. Louisa, of whom Jesus is jealous, and he becomes actor and spectator of whatever she does. Louisa, whom Jesus keeps so absorbed in the divine will that she can hardly remember she is living in exile. Louisa, the celestial mama's daughter. Louisa, 
the soul who remains with the pure fruit of good. And Jesus enjoys the sweetness of it. Louisa, Jesus' carriage that he holds the reins. Louisa, whose heart Jesus sits upon to be more comfortable, and his dominion is complete to do whatever he wants. Louisa, who keeps nothing for herself, but lets everything run after man to save him, and whom Jesus looks at as another him. Louisa, the soul who loves and suffers, and in whom is Jesus' humanity. Louisa, who when suffering, receives the honor of standing in for Jesus. Louisa, who becomes host for love of Jesus. Louisa, the soul whom Jesus renders transparent. Louisa, the soul who is in continuous reflections, perennial communication, and reciprocal love with Jesus. Louisa, the soul whose reflection reaches Jesus in heaven, on earth, in the sacramental host, in the hearts of creatures. Louisa, the soul who gives light, love, to Jesus. Louisa, the soul who is Jesus' terrestrial home, wherein he finds refuge from the disgust of the other creatures. Louisa, the soul whose sanctity shall be so high that, like sun, she will eclipse the most beautiful stars of the saints of the past generations. Louisa, the soul who is sun that shall warm, illuminate, fecundate this generation. Louisa, terrestrial angel, whose disinterest, all for the good of others, without a shadow of her own self, shall open in hearts the way to receive Jesus' grace. Louisa, the soul living in the divine will, who shall be priest, church, tabernacle, host, all together. Louisa, the soul who finds herself at the heights of Jesus' acts, his prayers, of the way he acted when on this earth. Louisa, the soul who places herself almost at Jesus' level. Louisa, who as nothing enters into the all and operates with Jesus, in Jesus, and like Jesus, giving Jesus absolute lordship over her acts. Louisa, the soul for whom are all of Jesus' predilections and love. Louisa, the soul who, by virtue of the love that Jesus has for her and that descends from her, he loves the others. Louisa, whom Jesus makes do everything, and he gives everything to her. Louisa, 
whose acts invest all. Louisa, whose acts give light and heat to all. Louisa, whose acts reign over all. Louisa, whose acts acquire supremacy over all the other acts of creatures and has right over all. Louisa, who rules. Louisa, who dominates. Louisa, who conquers. Louisa, whose acts are the motion of all. Louisa, whose acts Jesus makes run for the salvation and good of all. Jesus and Mary, I praise you and I thank you, one with Louisa, who is dear to Jesus, and he shall never leave her. Louisa, whom Jesus raised in his will, and who is a part of Jesus. Louisa, whom Jesus guards and no one can touch her. Louisa, the soul who acquires many new divine beauties. Louisa, in every act she does in the divine will, she takes one more divine strength, wisdom, love, sanctity. Louisa, who enters the sphere of eternity. Louisa, who penetrates into the omnipotence of the Eternal One, into the uncreated mind, and takes part in everything and in each divine act. Louisa, who makes use of all the divine qualities. You have reached the end of day seven for the titles of Louisa Picaretta, Little Daughter of the Divine Will, Servant of God. Fiat. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.